Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows 11 24H2 and to be more exact, we're going to talk about the Recall AI feature, which for those of you who don't know is a new feature that Microsoft will test out on Copilot Plus PCs, which will basically record everything that you do on your computer, take snapshots, you're going to be able to search for your device usage history using the Recall app. Well, since announced, this has received a lot of backlash and users have reported and found a lot of security issues with this, the biggest one being the fact that it could access basically the whole history through a database really easily and hackers and malware can easily do that in infected PCs. Well, Microsoft answered and they've most likely fixed Recall AI. And in this video, we're going to talk about what Microsoft changed and what they've done to fix this AI feature in Windows 11 24H2. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below. Also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First thing that Microsoft changed is the setup experience or the OOB experience. Maybe some of you know I've made a video a few days ago in which I showed you the setup experience for Recall and basically Microsoft didn't allow you to turn off or turn on or see any setting about that. You had to install your Windows operating system and after the installation you were able to change those settings. Well this new setup experience allows you to turn on or turn off Recall AI and also it will be off by default which is pretty good and I think this is a good change. Also Windows Hello enrollment is required to enable recall. In addition, proof of presence is also required to view your timeline and search in recall. Again, something that is really good. And related to the databases, Microsoft is adding additional layers of data protection, including just-in-time decryption protected by Windows Hello enhanced sign-in security. So recall snapshots will only be decrypted and accessible when the user authenticates. In addition, Microsoft encrypted the search index database. I think these three changes are really good. The setup one, the Windows Hello requirement, and also the extra layer of data protection related to the database. I think that is pretty nice. And of course, if you want to see an in-depth overview of these security improvements, you can check out the article below and there you're going to be able to see the official Microsoft blog post. And yet again, Microsoft is doing some specifications. For example, snapshots are stored locally, so no internet or cloud connections are used to store and process snapshots. Also, snapshots are not shared. They're not shared to Microsoft or any other organization. And also, you will know when recall is saving snapshots. You'll see recall pinned to the taskbar when you reach your desktop and you'll have a recall snapshot icon on the system tray letting you know when Windows is taking snapshots. Digital rights managed and in private browsing are not saved in supported web browsers and of course you can pause, filter, delete what's saved at any time. I think these are some pretty nice changes and clarifications made by Microsoft and of course let me know below in the comments if you would test out recall AI after these changes by Microsoft. In my opinion it is really nice that we no longer have a security issue with the databases, but still I'm surprised that Microsoft decided to announce this feature when these issues were a thing. Well, it's good that Microsoft listens to feedback and they've listened, they've done some changes and I think these changes should make Recall AI more reliable and much more secure. So as I've said, make sure to check out the official Microsoft blog post if you want to check out all the in-depth overview of these changes. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Zimani from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.